All right, here's the fourth neighborhood you're going to visit. Now, I'm a little bit different than the places we've visited already, uh, but nonetheless, you want to make sure that you are reading the second part of Section 5, the haves live well. That's on the back side of um, your sheet for neighborhood visit number four. And you're going to learn about the living condition of Mexico City's wealthy people. So we've been talking about the working poor, recent migrants, uh, people like that. Now we're going to take a look at the wealthy, the people that have the money. Uh, so complete part one of the reading notes for neighborhood visit four before you move on to the recording. So now would be a great time to hit pause, read through that section, answer the questions uh, to make sure you have it. So uh, get that done before you move on to section two. All right, so now what you're going to do is we're going to listen to uh, the last interview here. Uh, listen carefully as your guides uh, interview these people and then fill out the information for your survey in part two of the reading notes. Um, these people will answer some but not all the questions like usual, so see once what you can come up with. So uh, listen carefully, fill out your survey, uh, and we'll figure out what neighborhood these people are in. Sergio, are we too late? No, Sergio and no, Jose went to school timing. together. He and arrived. his wife and baby just moved back from the United States. Could we ask you to answer in Spanish? Si, sí, claro. Bienvenidos. So what's it like to move back here after living in the States for the last, what, five years? Sergio says it's still very crowded. We've heard that before, huh? About 34,000 people per square mile. It's very nice here, though. He also says this neighborhood is comfortable. Is that because of the construction of the houses? He said that 94% of the houses in this area are built with good materials. That is, better than adequate materials. And it shows, doesn't it? Your house is beautiful. He says yes. People here take pride in their property. Do you have much crime in this area? No, no mucho. La policía nos cuida muy bien en esta He says there isn't much crime here. He thinks there are 1,300 officers assigned to this area. That's a lot, right? More than most areas? I guess that's true. People here do feel more protective of what they have. We must be moving along. Sí, gracias a los dos. You're welcome. All right, so hopefully you got your information for part two. If not, listen to it again. Um, and use that information to see once what we can figure out in terms of what neighborhood uh, they're in. So what you're going to do now is complete part three in your notes. Use the maps that you have in order to try to figure out and do some detective work to determine which neighborhood it is that these people live in. All right, remember, write down the neighborhood, tell me because. You're going to be handing all these in so you can get some credit for the work that you're doing. All right, so this is neighborhood visit number four. We're all set with our neighborhoods. Hopefully we can start getting an understanding of spatial inequality, uh, and we should be all set. All right, great job, guys.